So, cabbage. We are going to use the onion tops from Go to our farms. Go to our farms from the onions that we already roasted. Perfect. And we're going to be doing braised cabbage. Braised this time. cabbage. So we're going to go ahead and we had that, and then we needed we need a deglazing agent so that we get stuff off the bottom. So we said, oh well, might as well use some cane break from down there and do a saw. That's up. So we're going to have that also. You need this on medium, high? Uh, high would be great. So we're going to want to do it quick. All right? So I'm just taking the core out of the cabbage here. Very simply. Quarter the cabbage. Pop the core out. The compost. compost. So I did learn you, you can't compost potatoes. Can or can't? Can't. Can't compost potatoes. Tell no. me why. They start growing potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to cut this down. Now, in this one, we're using a large uh, cast iron. Pot. And the reason we're using that is because cast iron is going to hold that heat in, so it's going to stay where we put it. And drop some oil in there, so it's not going to get uh, it's not going to get cold. Even sure. once you throw all everything in, it'll still retain that heat really well, so it'll go in there really fast. We'll save these two quarters. We'll make coleslaw later. Sounds great. Sounds good. All right. Did you want to put the onion tops in first? Or you want to put this in? We're going to put this in first. All right. Hopefully y'all can hear that sizzle out there, because we are really cooking here. Next, onion top. Start with the bottoms. Cut those in rounds. They can be a little bitter, so you gotta you wanna put those in first, let them cook down. Alright? And really, this is honestly, this is just like the really thin onion tops that you get in the grocery stores. This is just they're larger. Um, they're gonna have a very similar flavor. Yep. Take the tops and just slice them really, really thin. And these are going to go into the very, very end. Yep. Now, you want to make sure that you get everything in there, but you also don't stir too much because you do want to get some brown on there. So, you know, make sure everything's in there. Make sure as much is touching the bottom as possible. But you do want to get some brown. All right. Pepper. I haven't put any salt in A little bit of salt. Perfect. All right. Basically braise that down. Cook that down. It's going to take a while, so we're going to go ahead and cut here, and we'll come back and show you the finished product. There you go. Now that it's starting to uh, kind of caramelize in the bottom down there, you can smell it coming up. Hit it with some cane break. Get all that yumminess up the bottom. Enough. And we'll pull off. Um. It's up there for now. Yeah. Same so we've had the cabbage braising now for about 20 minutes or so. Yep. We we uh, deglazed a little bit of cane break. Right. We did. Covered it. I don't know what we're gonna do with the rest that's left over. So <laughs> we have green onions. Right. Toss them in here. And what besides adding that flavor, what that ends up doing, you add that extra color in there because. Mm -hmm. People, you, you eat with your eyes first. So what you're gonna want to do is make sure that it looks good. This is like like Mardi Gras in your mouth right here. That's Look it. That. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. And that, my friend, is an easy way to braise cabbage. Fennel fronds. Go ahead and put that on there as a little garnishment. There it is. There it is.